welcome back guys just down here on the canal with beautiful temple behind me now i just want to mention that this channel is going to be primarily about bangkok things to do uh, stuff to see just uh, tips tricks everything else but every now and then i'm going to be doing uh, sort of places to go you know within one to two hours that's reasonably affordable as well um, and well that's what today's video is about you can go from this to this for only three dollars and sixty it's 119 baht seriously that's what i did so i'm obviously talking about pattaya ah oh, where, where do i even start with pattaya well let's start with how i got down there and how it cost me such little as well and it only took like what about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes right so what you want to do is make your way down to ekamai bts station and just outside like literally you can just walk straight there even if you've got the suitcases and everything is the bus terminal now go into there and then on your right hand side you'll see a little booth it says pattaya on it, it says 119 baht it's so simple the timetable for these buses is really good as well so i think they're running like every hour for the most part you know in the middle of the day so and uh so yeah i got on the bus i thought well this is gonna actually be a little bit janky and, uh, do you know the bus was old the bus was old but i had so much leg room and the aircon the aircon was really good and the whole journey was just straight through it's this highway pretty much all the way from bangkok to pattaya but yeah once you get to the bus station in pattaya you do need to get a motor taxi or the a taxi of some sort to then get further into pattaya so keep that in mind so that's probably going to cost you uh, probably around another 60 to 100 part depending on what vehicle you want to take so the question is what's in pattaya and why do you want to go there well do you know i've been going to pattaya for five years now and i've seen the fair share of madness in the past and it's, it's definitely dulled down from what it used to be but they're definitely they're, impro they're improving the city they're trying to hide all of the cables down walking street which i agree with Do you know i love the cables in thailand by the way and i hope they don't get rid of them but in, in, in pattaya and walking street it will do them the world of good because at night that place just lights up like a christmas tree it's just the vegas of southeast asia and uh yeah so look, wait, what to do what do you do there's loads of temples beautiful beautiful temples in pattaya you got a go-kart track, uh, easy kart, definitely you have to go there. I remember going there before about three years ago and we were stood there waiting to go on track and they're like, do you want a couple of beers? So we stood there drinking beers, I think one o'clock in the morning or maybe midnight, just waiting to go out on the go-kart track and they knew we'd been drinking all night as well. It's just pure madness there. And obviously don't forget the nightlife. You've got Walking Street, you've got Soy Bacow, you've got LK Metro, you've got all the soy, soy six, seven, seven, one, just, uh, it's, it's just, it's endless. There's just endless nightlife here. And like I said, it has died down at the moment, but it's picking up one bar at a time. Even at the four days that I spent down here, one bar was opening nearly every day and more and more people are coming. For those coming for the girls, the girls are there, okay? They're waiting for the tourists. There's not many tourists here at the moment. It's kind of nice, especially when you go down to the beaches. And that brings me on to the next one, the beaches really come on this is an hour and a half to two hours away from Bangkok and look at these beaches in the past I've stayed down at John Tien because John Tien is like really quiet and they've got this really nice night market there and the beaches are in my opinion uh, slightly better than the Pattaya main beach it's literally it's only five minutes away from everything that's going on as well so it's nice just to have a quieter area chill go to the night market have some food have a few drinks get yourself ready for that like full-blown night out in Pattaya but this time I stayed at the base and it's pretty cheap and cheerful you can find apartments on there on an Airbnb at a good rate and it's just off of second road as well so it's really easy to just get out of the condo and then on second road and then just jump onto a BART bus and again leading me on to another thing the BART buses 10 BART only 10 BART don't give them more okay and the BART bus basically runs along the whole of uh, second road and then beach road so just, it brings you around in a full circle I'll show you on the map now and I think this is the best way to navigate around sort of like the main area of Pattaya. If you need to get out furthermore, then take the motor taxis, take the regular taxis, uh, and just go from there. And to use the bar bus, you, you'll, see, you'll see them coming, they're very distinctive, and they've got like rails on the sides, and it's open at the back. Like they'll, they'll spot you before you spot them. Sometimes you'll be walking along and you'll hear them honk their horn because they see you walking in the same direction. And um, just like, if you don't want them, just sort of wave your hand a little bit and then they'll carry on. But if you do, then just give them a nod, they'll stop, you jump on the back, 
and then just watch where you're going. As soon as you're ready, push the buzzer and then get out and give the guy the 10 bar and then you're both on your way. So you've also got Terminal 21 and it's the same as the one here in Bangkok, except for it's got this giant plane outside the front of it as well. Um, it, it's, yeah, and inside, oh, there's this, uh, Eiffel Tower on the inside as well. It looks pretty epic. Everything's all decorated. There's always something to look at. It's nice just to wander around and just see what's going on. There's never a dull moment in a Terminal 21 shopping center. You've also got an island called Koh Lan, which is just like a short boat trip away. You can get really good prices on boats so you can get a ferry there as well. Uh, def def if you're staying here for like a week, it's definitely worth going there for a full day, rent a motorbike and go to the other side of the island. They've got a really, really beautiful beach there. I'd also like to mention the food. Ah, oh, the food selection in Pattaya is crazy. And for me, I like to go to Patrick's Steakhouse. I'd highly recommend it. You honestly, you won't regret it. The steaks, the chicken, just the way they cook everything is just spot on. And also a Robin Hood. Go to Robin Hood for breakfast. Uh, they also do specials on their lunch as well. They're, they're heading towards Michelin stars then boys. I've been in there for years now. I also want to mention the Sanctuary of Truth. I didn't go there this trip. I've been there previously before and I definitely recommend going there. This, this huge wooden temple. They've got elephants walking around if I've got some footage I'll put it up now for you to see uh, but this will be from a couple of years ago so yeah to wrap this up between big buddhas people driving around in Lambos endless nightlife shopping mall beautiful beautiful beaches epic food what what more do you want for a little getaway just an hour and a half to two hours away from Bangkok if you've been to Pattaya before let me know down below let me know where you recommend because like I said there's so many places everywhere you go and I'd love to sort of try other places to eat that uh, people think they're really good or other experiences maybe there's some experiences that I've not mentioned that you might know uh, and I'm, I'm definitely up for finding out where they are anyway I hope that was helpful guys and I hope like if you've never been to Pattaya before um, it gives you sort of like a rough idea like it, it just scratches the surface the things that I've mentioned there's so much more to Pattaya there's so many more places there's rooftop gardens there's like sky bars there's uh, uh, it's, honestly there's just so much and I've not even scratched the surface with this video but I hope it gives you like a little glimpse as to things that I can see and do in like the, the three four days that I spent there all right thank you for watching guys I hope you please subscribe please subscribe and please comment um, I really appreciate all the feedback that I'm getting on all of these videos. The community is really good uh, and I'm just getting to talk to you guys, get to know you as well. Right, that's it for me. Peace. See ya.